All right, welcome back. This is going to be a video about tuning a ukulele. Normally I tune um, the students' ukuleles during class, but since we're in a little bit of a different situation right now, uh, I thought it would be good to teach um, you at home how to tune ukulele so that way um, you could at least get a close uh, tuning for them so they could continue to practice while at home. Um, there's a few ways you can do it. You can tune ukulele to a piano, uh, to a uh, tuner. I actually have several apps on my phone that I'm going to show you that I use to tune my ukuleles. Um, the easiest one that I have found is an app called Guitar Tuna, like the fish. Uh, it looks like that. Okay. Um, so this is for a guitar, obviously, but uh, up here it says standard if you click that. It has a bunch of other options for other instruments, uh, ukulele, sopranos, and C, and then there we go. And then it uses the microphone, and then if you strike a string, you see that little meter getting closer to the line. Okay, so that's what you're actually using uh, to get the strings in tune. You want the little meter to be right in the center. So we're gonna start with the C string. I'm gonna have to tune it and then look and then I'll show you. Okay, so when it's in tune, we get that little ding. Now, the pegs are different versus the friction pegs. On the friction pegs, it's on the back, like I said before. So you will turn them uh, depending on which side they on to the right or to the left to loosen or tighten for pegs like these that stick out if they are on the top of the headstock when you're holding it you will turn them away from your body or counterclockwise in order to tighten the strings or raise the pitch and then you will turn it clockwise to loosen or lower the pitch if they are on the bottom of the headstock it's the opposite so you turn it would turn it clockwise to tighten and then counterclockwise to loosen. I'm going to finish tuning up my ukulele here. Okay. And uh, so that should be relatively in tune. Now, that will probably be fine for you at home. I do an extra thing to make sure my ukulele is actually in tune with itself. And what that means is that there are certain uh, positions on the frets and different strings that actually sound the same as one of the, what we call, open strings. So for example, on this top string here, this fret here, second fret, sounds the same as my open A string. So I make sure that those are really well in tune. Uh, same thing. See that one? It's not quite in tune. And I have found that the my E string in particular on this ukulele, um, when you tune it correctly with a tuner, doesn't quite sit right with the rest of the strings, which is why I kind of retune it based on how they kind of match together. You don't need to do that. Um, to get your child's ukulele perfectly in tune, um, using a chromatic tuner like Guitar Tuna will be fine. Uh, the other option is what we call a chromatic tuner. So this one looks like this. If I can get it to kind of... Oh, sorry. It's kind of bright. But this actually tunes to any pitch whatsoever. So you actually have to know what you're looking for before you start tuning. Whereas with the Guitar Tuna app, it will tell you what notes you're trying to get to, and then that way you have a better idea of what the names of the strings are. Um, chromatic tuners like this are really helpful if you have multiple instruments, like I do, that have different types of strings. Um, so for example, you know, basses and guitars um, have the same name strings, but are higher and lower than each other. Ukuleles are different. I have a Brazilian instrument called a cavaquinho, which uses different strings as well, um, um, and a mandolin. Uh, and to the a lot of instruments that use different strings that I need a chromatic tuner for in order to tune them all correctly. Um, but like I said, um, check out the Guitar Tuna app. Um, it's the, by far the easiest one to use to tune most general string instruments, guitars, and ukuleles and basses. 
because um, it tells you what you're looking for and it gives you a nice little ding when you get it right. Um, but that is it for our tuning video. Um, I will be going into some uh, strumming and rhythm patterns next. All right, see you later.